So you ever watch a tutorial on a camera channel and they're able to show their settings on their screen and record their screen not like have a camera recording their flip screen but actually record their screen and then you go look it up and you're like oh i gotta buy a recorder just to do that i gotta go buy like an atomos ninja 5 or something like that well might not have because i'm about that some of you guys that are into gaming channels may have heard of this application program, whatever you want to call it, called Streamlabs OBS. It's a great application, my girlfriend uses it all the time. There's a free option and a paid premium option. Today we're just looking at the free option because that's all we need. When I say that this method is free, you do have to have some kind of way to connect your camera to your computer. I use a cam link. It's fairly inexpensive and it's phenomenal. There's no program or application that you have to run side by side. You literally just plug one end into your computer and plug your camera into the other end and voila, your computer recognizes it as a webcam. I'll leave a link in the description for this. Fantastic. So assuming that you're able to connect your camera to your computer, let's move on to the next step. So I got my A7S III here, which is gonna be my webcam for today, and I'm hooked up via HDMI to the cam link, and that is hooked up to my 2021 M1 Mac Mini. I don't know why I shouted out the year there. Anyway, and as you can see, our application Streamlabs OBS does recognize the A7S III as the webcam. So we're gonna put that down for one sec, and we'll face it towards those headphones. And the way that I achieved this is you have to add a scene. So you just come to the plus sign right here. You name your scene. We'll call this A7S. No, nope. yep, A7S3. We'll just put the number three instead of three uppercase eyes. Now from here, we're gonna come over and we're gonna choose our source. So in this case, it's gonna be a camera. So we're gonna come over here to the plus sign and we're gonna choose video capture device and we're gonna hit add source. And as you can see, it automatically found our video capture device. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Sony a7S III. I'm gonna click the menu button. I'm gonna go, you can't see it on the screen right now, but I'm gonna go down to this. Yeah, I'll show you right here, I'll try to. It's this little toolbox. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down to external output. This is a Sony camera. These are newer cameras. I don't know what your camera's menu system looks like. Chances are you have something similar to this. But for Sony cameras, we're gonna come down to HDMI info display. Right now it's off. Once we turn it on, you're gonna see this screen go black, but the screen on the computer is gonna show the menu all of a sudden. Boom, there we go. So now it's not sized properly. Just gonna scale this down to fit the frame. Technically, you do have the option to record 4K I tried it, I haven't had much luck with it. It's very jittery. I'm gonna have these settings set up for 1080p. And honestly, if your video is 4K and you're just using this to record your menu and your settings, maybe on the bottom of your screen, like F whatever, ISO whatever, then really upscaling from 1080p to 4K, it's not a big deal. It's better than having to go out and buy a recorder for your camera for only that option. So the first thing we're gonna do here is go down into our bottom left corner, which is right down here, and we're gonna click that little wheel, and we're gonna come down to video, and we're gonna set everything up here. I would recommend, again, 1080p, but if not, whatever. You could even try 720p. Not a huge difference there, and you could easily upscale that too, and I think it'll still look fine. It's just lettering and text. It's just a menu system. I did have mine set at 3440 by 1440, and it didn't work out too well. It was very jittery. The final recording did not look well, but 1080p works, so we're gonna stick with 1080p and just upscale it to 4k when we put out the videos and nobody's going to know the difference except for the people that watch this video so our base resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080p and our output resolution is going to match that at 1920 by 1080p when it comes to your downscale filter i have mine set at 32 samples which is lands lang langzos langzos langzis 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 
Our frames per second is going to be common frames per second value. And for me, it's going to be 24 frames per second, which is NTSC. Next up, we're going to come up to our output and we're going to click on recording, which is the second tab. So our path is basically where we're going to save our recordings. And just in case you're wondering, yes, technically you can use this as an external recorder and record straight to a hard drive or your computer. But I don't really recommend that because... I did some tests and the results aren't really that great. I mean, they look fine or whatever, but you're gonna get way better results recording directly to your camera. This is not meant for that. This hack, this hack is really meant to be able to record your settings in your camera, not to use your computer as an external recorder. Recording format, I have set to MP4. That's what I've had the best luck with so far. Since this is an Apple computer, I have my encoder set to Apple VTH.264 software encoder. Your settings might be different. My rescale output, I have set to 1080p. My bit rate, I have set to 20,000. Everything else I leave alone, I hit done and we're good to go. And then right down here, you see we have our little record button. You hit record. Let's start scrolling through the menu here. Look at that. Perfect. And then look what happens once we get out of the menu system. We could see our settings. We could see everything that we would see on our flip screen. Want to go to our function menu? Go to our function menu. We want to go from S log 3 and switch over to HOG. Now, let's not mess up my settings. I'm not messing up my settings for you guys, just for stupid tutorial. I will leave links in the description for everything you see here, everything you need to get this situation going. And best of luck to you. Get out there, start recording them tutorials. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Right. Taking these chances, they wouldn't give me the answers, so I gotta go out and get it. I'ma hold them off for ransom. This how I planned it. Did it right here where I'm standing. Came from the mud, they counted this out. Now we standing on the planet.